Now, here's one. If you gradually came to the conclusion, after careful and patient observation, that your boss was psychologically evil, would you openly condemn him as such and quit for the sake of your own sanity? Well, you say psychologically evil. I take it that means he has not done anything, anything harmful or destructive to you or to anyone of value there. If that's the case, I would say his problems are his problem, not yours. Maybe he's making you work in manners that you dislike. Nevertheless, if he's the boss and he's not asking you to do the immoral, only the inefficient, that might be really upset you, and it would be legitimate to leave, but it's not mandatory, only if he's requiring you to violate uh, your uh, principles. And there's no principle that says you cannot work under a, a psychologically evil person if he keeps it in his own mind. Now, that should be obvious. Now, why that would threaten your sanity, I don't know. If he literally makes you crazy or, or you know, presents uh, an unintelligible series of commands and praises and blames when you can't tell one way or the other, then quit if it's that bad. But uh, I think you mean something more than that. It might be helpful to know that when I was in college, uh, I had basically that kind of uh, teachers, um, and uh, I didn't say anything to them. I mean, I certainly didn't go up to them and say, uh, you know, you are crazy, you're evading, you are this. What would I have gained by that except to identify myself as someone he wants to fail and then fail? They never asked me to go up to the front and believe that, so I just did what was there. I don't regard that as in any way amoral.